What is going on Minecraft Java Edition players that play Minecraft Java Edition on their Windows PC with a controller and performance mods. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and use shaders on even a potato device such as this with all of the mods that I actually showed you how to use in my last video but also there's other ways that you can load the shaders as well to get better performance and shader compatibility. So let's jump in, plug into the computer so that you guys can see everything on screen a lot better and learn how to install shaders. But be first, you need to subscribe because I love you. That's it. Subscribe because it's free. You can subscribe, help me get to 100,000 subscribers, get me a plaque, and that would be great. That's it. That's all I want. That's all I want in life. Not really. I, I want to play Minecraft forever. That's all I want to do. All right, let's jump in and do this. So in our last guide or video that I shared within this series, I told you guys you can install Embedium and Embedium or Bidium Extra for getting basically better performance, which is basically a mod that is a fork of sodium, for example. Now, you don't have the ability to use Embedium when we are going to use things like Optifine. Now, I'm going to have a video coming out, Oculus versus Optifine. This video specifically is going to be just a video about installing shaders with the setup that we pre-set up in our last video. Now, the last video, I'm going to link in the description below, so don't get too scared. Maybe go jump over there and watch it first. But these are all the mods that we installed in the last video so that we can actually get everything running at a stable frame rate. Now... As you saw, I was getting in the last video like 450 plus FPS with these settings and all my configurations set up. And that is great and all, but obviously we're not going to do that. We're going to lock our FPS to about 120 or even V-Sync it. You can V-Sync it to your refresh rate of your display and that'll help as well. And it helps with actually like visually seeing it fine. <laughs> now for shaders, we're going to click on install content. And you're going to see a tab at the top of the screen here called mods, resource packs, data packs, and shaders. So click on shaders. Now these are all the shaders that are compatible with 1.20.1 or above. And they also tell you, hey, you can use them with Optifine or Iris, and that is great. Now why is that important? Well, that's because some shaders only allow you to install them with Optifine or Iris. Now, as you can see here, most of these you can still install. As you can see, like this fast PBR one, it only allows us to install it with Iris. And that is why I was telling you that is just because I think Optifine works a little bit better. And Optifine has its own optimizations in it as well. But Sodium is better in the end because it is more optimized and it has more settings. So it's basically a back and forth of what works and what doesn't. And it depends on your device. Now, I have not installed shaders on this device yet, so it's going to be a learning thing for me as well, but I'm going to click on a few shaders that I like, uh, like BSL, Complementary, uh, Super Duper Vanilla, and in the Insanity Shader. That's the only ones I'm going to install just because I know these shaders by using them in the past, um, but that's, that's basically it. Now, there is uh, Rudimentary. Rudimentary is like a PS1 style shader. A lot of people like to use that for like... Uh, basically scary mods and stuff like that but I also have a video coming out for that on the channel if it's already out then great and by the time you're watching this awesome but if it's not then check out the playlist there's a playlist for just PC handheld stuff that's coming out slowly but surely and I'm releasing it all at once so hopefully I can edit it all and just have it all released so now what I'm gonna do is click on play and then you're going to hit that like button because I like it when you guys like my videos rather than dislike them if you dislike them, it hurts my feelings. I just I just want to go curl up into a corner and cry. And uh, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't really care because it does help with the algorithm, obviously, if you like a video. Did you know that if you dislike videos, it actually like pushes your video down the list for the algorithm? Now, I am using a mouse and keyboard again just because it's a little bit easier for you guys to see everything on screen rather than me filming it over top like I still am. But now we're going to go over to options video settings and now if your video settings don't look like this this means that you didn't listen and i told you that you need to install all these other mods but if it does look like this then great you listened good job pat on the back now go down to where it says oculus and shader packs now each shader pack you can actually edit like what the shader pack does so if you click on the shader pack click on shader pack settings 
it'll open up some settings usually for that shader pack so this one you can change like the profiles to be like minimum low medium high ultra now i like to start on on low settings especially when it comes to lower end pc handhelds like the a neo next light that i have sitting on the table right now because i'm just going to start off with that now i'm going to change this to actually classic style for the clouds as well like bsl shaders has two different types of clouds there's like more realistic clouds with the the original style but the classic is more blocky realistic looking clouds if that makes sense so i'll show you that while we're in the game and now i'm going to click done now i'm going to go back into shaders and i'm going to change all the settings for all of these so complementary shaders i'm going to change that all the way down to like potato maybe very low very low should be okay on this device i think and i'm going to change the rp support to basic now this is just different things that you can tell what it says on the actual uh, little dialogue window that shows up at the bottom it says changes many internal calculations to determine how different blocks and materials will be rendered so highly recommended for most cases is integrated pbr it says no pbr or extra effects turn this turns everything off mostly and materials using to require pbr resources so just depends on your device and the drivers that are installed if you find that there's any issues with your device then just navigate through these settings visual style you can do like reimagined or unbound it tells you exactly what each one is you can change it to whatever you like and whatever it looks best for you so i'm just going to leave it as that and click apply make sure you click apply now go back into the shader packs list by clicking on the shader packs list and then go to insanity shader if you want to balanced on the most part works great for insanity shader it's actually a pretty optimized uh, shader pack i accidentally exited out there rudimentary i don't think there's much to change in here you can do pretty horror uh that, that's about it i think i don't know what the difference is i'm gonna click apply for horror and i always click on done you go back to the shader pack you just have to click on the actual shader pack list i don't know why i do it that way um and then you can change your settings in here as well now there's also other settings you can change in here only change this if you know what you're doing otherwise there's usually like a reset button so if you turned off entity shadows for example and clicked apply and you forgot where that was or something then just go back in here and reset it or whatever but that is up to you now this does sometimes create like custom profiles for you as well so i'm going to click on apply for this and i'm going to go back into that lighting and that entity shadows is turned off but i'm going to turn it back on and turn it off and nah, i'm just going to leave it off screw it whatever because i have entity shadows turned off in here now on the most part when you went in here and changed your graphics and stuff like that some of these settings don't actually apply to the actual shader pack because the shader pack is overriding what you selected inside the shader pack so again i'm not sure if super duper villanelle is going to work in this shader pack but we're going to check it out so let's check it out let's see if it works and on the most part i think a lot of these shaders should work on this device i don't really know for sure though if they don't then you'll get an error if they don't work then you'll just see something that says open gl error or something like that you can go to check out your drivers and stuff like that for your actual device's uh, gpu but yeah here we go yeah it's working and if you see any like graphical issues or graphical glitches or anything like that as you can see here like i am only getting like 60 fps on this shader pack this might not be the best you know performance setting for this pack so if i go to video i can change even my general to like maybe eight chunks or six chunks let's, let's change that to that first click apply and let's go back to the shader pack go to the shader pack settings and i can maybe change this down to potato for example because this is actually a potato device honestly and that's why i put the potato symbol inside of my thumbnail because i thought that was kind of funny at the same time but yeah we we lowered the render distance and now we have super duper vanilla kind of running okay on the shader but like, as you can see here there are some graphical issues sometimes <laughs> like the the iron kind of like looks different from one angle and one side or whatever but yeah that's that's something else in its own regard but that is just something that i thought i would show you guys now again when it comes to like doing other things with the shaders you can um change like all the settings and configurations however you want on in a sense and it's all up to you how you do it now let's change see see how the shadows are kind of weird it's just it's all about the the shader pack itself and you can change things like your quality of your mip maps and stuff like that too if you want to change your mip map levels click apply sometimes that does help with the shader pack and that's where i'm like i think optifine is probably your best bet for shaders and that did help a bit as you can see here i'm still getting like an average of 150 fps 
and that's just because I'm not doing too much, but when you start getting into, like, flying around with the elytra, you're flying through the river or something, there's a ship over there, um, then you will find that the shader pack might start slowing it down. So, if we click on the G button on our device, this will reload that shader, okay? Now, the G button is... Whoops. The G button is what reloads the shader if there's like any issues or anything like that. Now, I can't remember exactly. There's a button that will allow us to turn off the shader if you want to. And I can't remember what the button is. So we'll just have to figure that out on our own later on. Now, I'll go to options, video settings, and we're going to go down to shader packs. And let's change it to the insanity shader. Let's click apply. Now, I warn you, the insanity shader is pretty cool, especially when you're playing horror mods, especially if that's what you're here for, because it gives you that more of an eerie effect. Now, sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to load. Don't freak out if it's just sitting there. But as you can see here, this shader pack is on balance right now. So to get more FPS out of this one, you could probably change what the actual FPS is uh, by going into the shader, go to shader packs, and let's just go down to... Let's go to best performance. That's the one that I want to use. I think that's the one that I think will work the best for this device. But the reason why I'm showing you that is just because you don't need to freak out if it's not giving you the best performance. You can actually change things to make your lower end device work good. Now, <laughs> Asus Rogue Ally X, I bet you it'll work great. Well, it does. I know it does. And other devices. But the reason why I'm using a potato style device for this is just to show you guys that even cheaper PCs that you want to play this on can work and you can enjoy playing Minecraft Java Edition with even a controller. As you can see here, I'm still using a controller on the bottom of the screen because the controllable mod is installed on here right now. And it's freaking awesome. So the fact that I can just use the controllable mod and still play Minecraft Java Edition with the controller is still freaking cool right so that's the main purpose is why you're here is because you didn't want to play with a mouse and keyboard and you wanted to just use the controller on your actual device have a nice day guys that's basically the gist of shaders and how to install them and how to tinker with them to get them to work and again if you want to go in and just like change different shaders and all that kind of stuff or even just turn them off if you want to turn them off you just go back into here now there is a hot key for this but i just can't remember what it is but as you can see, turning off the shaders does give you a big performance boost. And some shaders, they actually are more performant than others. You can just Google which ones are best for lower end devices as well. But let's go back to BSL, click apply. I think BSL should run really good on this as well. And if you end up getting any issues, like graphical issues or anything like that, just, I guess, turn it off. But BSL, what are we getting right now? It says max average. Eh, it's trying to crank out as much as it can. Yeah, we're still getting at under 60 FPS, which is okay for some people, but probably not for everybody. Have a nice day. Love you all. And as always, subscribe!